This month's recipe is a fantastic meal for autumn training. It's basically a one pot superfood fusion of spicy prawns, uh, a delicious broth, and then it's topped with lots of crunchy, fresh vegetables. It's a Malaysian prawn laksa. There are four reasons why this dish is so good for training. Firstly, it's really quick and really easy to make. Secondly, it's got a perfect balance of slow release carbohydrates, really good quality protein and healthy fats to sustain your training. So thirdly, it's a great dish to boost your immunity levels with. It's uh, packed with vitamins and minerals, minerals like zinc and copper and magnesium, all great at boosting the immunity. And fourthly, it's got loads of fresh chilli and fresh ginger, um, both of which are, are act as anti-inflammatories, so really good for keeping your muscles in tip-top condition. So you can make this Malaysian prawn laksa in five easy steps. First of all, you need to make the prawn broth. So peel and devein the prawns and then in a saucepan just heat up a, a, a small amount of oil and add the prawn shells. Fry them at quite a high heat until they're pink and crispy and then pour over the water, bring it all to a boil, cover and then reduce to a simmer and simmer that for about 30 minutes. Step two, strain the, the broth and discard the shells and set, set aside the broth for, for later when you make the soup. Step three, cook the noodles. Uh, this is a matter of just following the instructions on the pack. Uh, it usually means pouring boiling water over the noodles and leaving them to soak for a few minutes until they become soft. Step four, we make the soup. So in a saucepan, heat about a tablespoonful of oil and then add the laxa paste. You can make your own paste if you like but for the sake of speediness we're just using ready-made laxa paste. Just heat that for 30 seconds to a minute until you can smell the delicious oriental aroma uh, and then add the coconut milk, um, the, the prawn broth, the fish sauce and the sugar and heat that all through um, for, for a couple of minutes before you add the fresh ginger and the prawns. You don't want to put the prawns for too long, just for a couple of minutes until they become nice and pink because uh, if you cook them for too long they'll just become really rubbery and horrible. So step five, um, just add the noodles to the soup, um, stir that round and heat them through for a bit and then divide the mixture into your four warmed bowls. And then just add the bean shoots and the bean sprouts and the spring onions, the fresh chilies, um, the cucumber and the coriander. And serve that with some extra wedges of lime on the side and also some extra fresh chilli for those who want a bit more heat.